The compressor is the heart of a vehicle's air conditioning system. Powered by the engine via the serpentine belt, the compressor brings in refrigerant through its suction side and pressurizes it, which causes the refrigerant to get hot. The compressor pumps this heated refrigerant vapor into a high-pressure line that runs to the condenser, which cools the high-temperature vapor by releasing the heat to the outside air, transforming the vapor into a liquid. There are a few more steps and components involved, but it all starts with the compressor. The main types of compressors you'll see in vehicles are piston compressors or rotary compressors. Piston compressors, also referred to as reciprocating compressors, are the more common type. Often, in a piston-type compressor, you'll see a swash plate mounted diagonally on a shaft. As the shaft rotates, the swash plate converts this rotation into reciprocating movement of the pistons, which is what sucks in the refrigerant and compresses it. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at a type of piston compressor called a variable displacement compressor. Before we talk about variable displacement compressors, let's first talk about fixed displacement compressors. In a fixed displacement compressor, the swash plate connected to the pistons will travel along a fixed path, hence the name. Fixed displacement compressors have been the industry standard for compressors. However, in recent years we've seen steady growth in the use of variable displacement compressors. Unlike a fixed displacement unit, a variable displacement compressor will change the angle of the swash plate to control the amount of refrigerant being discharged. This is determined by an electronic control unit, or ECU, that sends a signal to a switch in the compressor based on the engine and driving conditions. Depending on the output needs of the AC system, the compressor will adjust the displacement accordingly. The chamber pressure inside the compressor plays a key role in determining the displacement of refrigerant. Chamber pressure applies pressure to the piston tops, while suction pressure applies pressure to the piston bottoms. A control valve regulates the discharge gas that's channeled into the chamber, while a small bleed back to the suction side allows flow through the chamber. When the control valve is open, the chamber pressure is equal to the suction pressure, which provides minimum displacement. When the control valve is closed, the chamber pressure is equal to the suction pressure, which provides maximum displacement. And when the control valve is partially open, that's when you get variable displacement. It's a little more complicated than that, but here's the bottom line. Being able to control the displacement of refrigerant based on various parameters, such as the driving conditions, results in faster cabin cooldown, improved cooling efficiency, and better fuel economy by reducing the compressor's energy consumption. Denso offers 23 different variable displacement compressor models covering a variety of domestic, Asian, and European vehicle makes. These compressors feature an improved housing with a thinner wall, which contributes to a smaller and lighter unit, and they're designed to minimize noise and vibration. Denso's latest variable displacement compressors are able to draw a larger amount of refrigerant into the compressing chambers, increasing compressor efficiency by approximately 10%. Utilizing a Denso-developed electromagnetic control valve, refrigerant displacement is precisely controlled based on engine torque, which maximizes engine efficiency. It's also worth noting that Denso compressors are designed to be highly reliable. Hollow pistons enable the compressor to control refrigerant displacement at a maximum of 11,000 revolutions per minute at high engine speed. This prevents the pistons from disturbing the swash plate inclination control, even at high engine speeds.